It turns out you get better performance out of the internet if you put less memory in the router. A router with less memory has no buffer bloat. Bandwidth is a lie, according to the late great David Todd. How is bandwidth a lie? If you look at a lot of these internet service providers, like Comcast, who are advertising 500 megabit, one gigabit internet connections, they weren't promising one gigabit with good latency. Just as possible to hit that in a speed test. He really thought that if you couldn't maintain a certain latency under load, LUL, that it shouldn't count. And that it was much more important, like, What's the highest speed you can get without terrible latency? That's all that should count. Because people are going to have a garbage experience if it's 300 milliseconds latency, but you got a gigabit. And this is true for video calls, Zoom, Google Meet, Microsoft Teams. You're doing two-way stuff. You need it to be low latency. It's super true of gaming. 20 milliseconds is good. 100 milliseconds is laggy. And if you're up at 150 or 200 milliseconds, you're dead. It's the timing at the server that really counts. Two tenths of a second is just way too long, especially if you're at old competitive. Normally, you put more memory in a computer, it goes faster. But if you put more memory in a router, it ends up holding more packets. And this can create the illusion when you start an upload that things are going really fast, but it's not actually going to the internet. It's just piling up in your router. And that's bad. So things can actually be much slower than you think. Your latencies get crazy. Someone else who's trying to do a video call at the same time that you're uploading that file, they'll just get terrible latency both ways. And if it can't go fast enough, it'll tell your computer you're going too fast. And apps can adjust, right? Your video apps can move to lower resolution, less frames per second, to adjust the reality of how fast your internet is, and everyone finds things work much better. So David Todd really won over the whole industry with this buffer bloat issue. He was right, and internet service providers like Comcast made big changes, spending millions of dollars changing how their system worked to make sure that you get low latency, even if in some cases that means your speed test results aren't quite as good, but your actual experience is better. And at Speedify, we certainly took it to heart. It's really important for us to avoid any buffer bloat because we're trying to combine your internet connections. So if one of your connections has too much memory and we're sending packets to them and it's just piling up in memory, we don't want to end up thinking that that connection is too fast. We want to know if it's slowing down so we know it's time to go give traffic to your other connections so that we can really deliver you the speed of all of them added up. So we're hardcore on this. In conclusion, I want you to subscribe.